Okay, what is up there YouTube? This is a J Man Time, and today I have a video on one of the strangest proxy wars to happen in the interwar years between two countries that would later become major allies during the Second World War. And this is a rare proxy war between Germany in Italy, in Ethiopia, during the Second Italo-Ethiopian War of 1935-1937. Now, many historians don't know that Hitler and Mussolini didn't trust each other all that much during the early to mid interwar period of the 1930s. In fact, they didn't truly become allies until just before World War II, around 1938-1939-1940, when Germany and Italy signed the Pact of Steel and Italy became a formal member of the newly formed Axis powers. But before that time period, there were actually proxy wars between Germany and Italy happening in Europe and elsewhere. And one of the strangest proxy wars happened during the Second Italo-Ethiopian War. On the 3rd of October, 1935, Italy or the Italian Empire or just the Kingdom of Italy invaded the independent African nation of Ethiopia, which was ruled by the king Haile Selassie I, who was the last king of Ethiopia. During the invasion, the Italians had about 500,000 troops, which included Italian troops from Europe, Italian colonial troops from Eritrea, Somalia, and Libya. Ethiopia was secretly backed by a small number of nations, at least when it comes to weapons and arms. Countries like Czechoslovakia and a few other nations all supported Ethiopia with weapons and arms. But one of the strangest backers of Ethiopia was Germany under Adolf Hitler. During the covert proxy wars between Germany and Italy, the Germans had supplied thousands of weapons to the Ethiopians to hold back the Italian invasion or at least to keep the Italian army bogged down in Ethiopia. Hitler did this on purpose hoping that Mussolini would get stuck in Ethiopia and they would give him enough time to annex Austria. Now in 1934 there was another Italian-German proxy war or a three-way proxy war between Italy, Germany, and the Soviet Union and Austria. This was the Austrian Civil War. This was a civil war between three different factions, the pro-Italian fascist, the pro-German fascist, and a bunch of Soviet or Soviet-backed left-wing organizations operating inside of Austria. And this conflict lasted for a few months in 1934, but ultimately the pro-Italian fascist would stay in power, although some pro-German fascists were also in this Austrian government, which was led by a man named Kurt Schuschnigg. Now, in 1934, the previous Austrian leader, Engelbert Dofus, was assassinated by what many historians believe were pro-German agents. This was an attempted coup of sorts, and there were also communist agents that were also trying to take advantage of the situation. Fast forward a year later to 1935, after Germany failed to take over Austria politically, they decided to back Ethiopia against the Italian invasion of Ethiopia in October 1935. During the early part of the Second Italo-Ethiopian War, the Germans supplied over 10,000 Mauser Model 1898 or Gewehr 98 rifles along with 10 million rounds of ammunition to Ethiopia. They also sold some 25,000 Mauser Model 1933 Standard Model bolt action rifles which were the precursor to the Carabiner 98K series of rifles later used by the Germans in World War II. They also sold a few hundred German and Austrian-made Bergmann MP34s, Bergmann MP35s, and Steyr MP34 submachine guns to the Ethiopian military and also to Halasi's private bodyguard unit, which had about a thousand soldiers in all. 
Germany also sold between 12 and 25 37 millimeter Pac-35 slash Pac-36 anti-tank guns and at least a few dozen German made 20 millimeter anti-aircraft auto cannons. These are the anti-aircraft auto cannons you actually see the Ethiopians using on film during the second Italian Ethiopian war. And that wasn't it. The Germans even supplied the Ethiopians with aircraft. These included two Junkers W-33C. These were German cargo planes and transport aircraft that were sold to Ethiopia. They also sold one Heinkel HD-21, which served as a Red Cross medical evacuation aircraft. And they also sold a number of modified trainer aircraft, which were modified into either reconnaissance planes or a light fighter aircraft. So the Germans actually supplied the Ethiopians with enough weapons to hold off the Italians. When the Italian army or forces entered Addis Ababa in late 1936, they encountered a ton of German-made weapons, including those aforementioned Pac-36 anti-tank guns. And they weren't the only ones. You also had countries like Czechoslovakia that were also smuggling weapons and ammunition to the Ethiopians. Now they were mostly doing this via Djibouti. Djibouti was part of the French colonial empire. This is where most of the weapons that Ethiopia was receiving were smuggled in through Djibouti. Now the French allowed the Germans and German agents and German gun runners to operate in Djibouti, supplying the Ethiopians with weapons. There were even German secretly on the ground supporting the Ethiopian army until at least the last few months of the war. So this is one of the forgotten proxy wars of the interwar year, a time where Germany and Italy were fighting secret proxy wars against one another, at least until the late 1930s, where Mussolini finally gave up and joined the Axis powers. This was only after after Germany annexed Austria in 1938, which was one of Mussolini's major European allies in the years before World War II. So what do you all think of this? This is one of the strangest conflicts of the interwar era. The Germans even sent mercenaries and advisors to assist the Ethiopian. So what do you all think of this strangeness that happened, this beef that happened between Hitler and Mussolini? So what do you all think of this? one of the most forgotten proxy wars of the mid to late 1930s or interwar era. Just imagine, what if there was a Call of Duty game or first person shooter game set during this proxy war? It would be like Call of Duty Black Ops, but from the Axis or I guess fascist perspective. So what do you all think of this forgotten proxy war between Italy and Germany? And what do you all think of the forgotten proxy wars as a whole between Italy and Germany in the years before they became full-fledged allies just before World War II. So what do you all think of this? Please tell me in the comments section below. And until next time, this was J Man Time signing off. Look what Mussolini is trying to do Take a bigger mouthful than any man can do The drums are beating and the bugle call But we cannot let the lion of Judah fall So let us take a turn in our hand and defend the Ethiopian war
Look what Mussolini is trying to do. Take a bigger mouthful than any man can do. The drums are beating and the bugle call. But we cannot let the lion of Judah fall. So let us take a turn in our hand and defend the Ethiopian war. Declare.